It's been a long time since I made a video, um, so as you guys know, I think the last time I told you guys I had just gotten back, or diagnosed with bacterial vaginosis, and I had a UTI, okay, so, um, and as you guys know, I'm on the blood pressure medicine too, so right now, I have not been very fair feeling very well with this pregnancy um I've uh, just been a little bit more like run down than I was with all with my other pregnancies and just uh not feeling very well um so just recently over the last couple weeks they've decided to put me on um the antibiotic Keflex for the duration of my pregnancy for um UTIs so, I take it once a night. So, right now, I'm on um, blood pressure medicine and aspirin. And I actually have to get retreated for bacterial vaginosis. So, I'm on a pill for that in the morning as well. And I take my prenatals at some point during the day. And then at nighttime, I take blood pressure medicine and um, the antibiotic for the bacterial vaginosis and the Keflex. So... Um, I just, I've been dealing with all that, but the good news is that the baby is fine, and I did not, that's, it's been so long, I am having a boy, um, we decided to name him Luca, so his name is gonna be Luca James, so yeah, so two girls and a boy. And then our baby in heaven, who we did not know was a boy or a girl. But yeah, I've just been feeling not very good. And like right now I have a cold. Um, I haven't been to physical therapy while I'm supposed to go tomorrow. And also this week Lily started preschool. Um, so it's just been kind of crazy. That's why I'm able to fail, film this video actually. Because Leah's taking a nap and Lily's at school. Um... I just feel like my pot symptoms have been kind of escalated, um, this pregnancy, and it's just been, i just been, like, not really able to do a whole lot, and, like, my heat tolerance has, like, and, like, I've not really been very tolerant of the heat anyways, but just, like, with this pregnancy, my tolerance for the heat has just been, like, like almost zero like it's just been um and right now we're trying to get our house ready to sell so we have to paint and stuff and this week our air conditioner broke and I thought it was fixed yesterday but it turns out that it needs another part besides the part that we already um fixed so I mean it just 
been crazy and then I've been just fighting with like Medicaid and Medicare and disability and stuff so um the plan for my pregnancy right now is I am 18 weeks and two days um so from any time I've been pregnant um I'm at a risk for preterm labor just because when you have um EDS you're at risk for preterm labor so I am already at risk for preterm labor having recurrent UTIs can put you at risk for preterm labor which is why I'm on a preventative antibiotic to try to keep those away um and having bacterial vaginosis can also put you at um, risk for preterm labor so I have three things working against me for um preterm labor right now and I with Lily and Leah both I went into preterm labor at around 32 and 33 weeks with both of them and I mean it was stopped and everything but um so even with them that I had cervical length ultrasounds from 16 to 26 weeks so that's the same with this pregnancy so um you know 18 weeks so I've had this this week yesterday I had my third one so I go up to the hospital it's about 45 minutes away from me up to the hospital at least once a week and oh <laughs> Leah just fell off the couch she fell off the couch I couldn't get there fast enough it just happened really fast um so she came up here with me um but right now um, my blood pressure has been stable, um, but with how I've been feeling, um, they, and just because of the recurrent UTIs and because of the bacterial vaginosis, um, they want me to come back every two weeks right now, so, I don't know how often, I'm assuming they'll just have me come back every two weeks until probably I deliver it's okay. I mean, at the end, you know, you go every week, but <clears throat> I'm assuming I will more than likely be induced at 37 weeks again, which is totally fine with me. I'm used to that. I've already done it. Um, it's just, for me, that's okay. I know some people are very against being induced, but for me, that's okay because if my blood pressure is stable at that point and the baby's doing good. I just think in my situation, it's better just to go ahead and induce. Um, that way, I'm like in a controlled environment already. Everything is controlled from the very beginning. And I personally just kind of um, pref prefer that at this point. Just after I was induced with Lily and then they decided to with Leah, just... That's the protocol when you have gestational hypertension. They don't like to let you go past 37 weeks. Um, so like I said, that's fine with me. So I don't know. I just, so I'll go back once a week for the cervical lengths. I'll go back every two weeks for, I'll have an appointment. Um, and those aren't always with like the actual OBs. Sometimes it's just with a nurse practitioner just to check on me and make sure um, that my blood pressure is holding steady and everything. So I actually, um, had an appointment this week, um, and that's when they decided to treat me again for the bacterial vaginosis, so I just started that today, um, so then I'll have my 20 week anatomy scan in a couple weeks, plus an appointment that day, and then that's how it'll work, and then after 26 weeks, um, I shouldn't have another ultrasound, probably I think 30 30 some weeks they'll do one um they usually do probably like between 32 and 34 weeks I think or at 32 and at 34 I don't know I don't remember um, so yeah I have a lot of lot of ultrasounds um so I am feeling Luca move um not you know like I mean I'm 18 weeks so not like all the time, all day long or anything, um, but I've been feeling them for, I've been feeling flutters, like, for 
weeks. Now, I mean, like, I wasn't even out of my first trimester and I was feeling flutters. Um, but I've been feeling, I feel movement every day. It's just not, like, you know, um, they're starting to get stronger, <laughs> some of them. So, yeah, I'm thinking the next couple weeks I'll be getting, you know, punched and <laughs> kicked and everything. So, yeah, he's looking good. Um, my anxiety because of my previous miscarriage has been kind of wild, but I do have a fetal Doppler and I don't care. I do check his heartbeat, um, his heart rate every day because it just makes me feel better. And I feel like using it every day and having my anxiety level go down is better than for him than me spending days being anxious that something was wrong with him. Even though I can feel movement every day, I feel flutters every day, I feel him you know, I feel little jabs every day, it doesn't matter, um, I still have anxiety, <clears throat> so yeah, I just wanted to make this update, um, just to update everybody about why I haven't been vlogging, um, I do plan on still vlogging, um, but like I said, it's just been a busy season of life right now for me, and this is the hardest pregnancy um, EDS wise, with Lily, it was pretty hard, I got sick most of the time, um, so hopefully, yeah, I can get back to vlogging soon, and if anybody has any questions, just leave it in the comments, or go to my Instagram page, um, life with a chronically ill mom, and ask me anything, so thanks for watching.